Finding places that have not changed is becoming increasingly difficult. You have to drive a long way from civilization before you find an area that doesn't change. Well, not in a hurry anyway. Those words from a song by the Australian pop group Goana describe the corner country in New South Wales perfectly. On my visits to Inaminka, it was only the weather and the road conditions that changed. Any place where tourists visit on a regular basis is obviously going to impact the landscape and the wildlife. Because of that fact, I'm noticing there are many more restrictions in places that in the past there were none. In the early 70s, the road across the Nullarbor was dirt. I found it amazing that a major connecting road from the east to the west of a country the size of Australia should have a road that was so badly maintained. In those days, there was another road that was equally as rough that joined Port Augusta to Alice Springs. When I travelled these roads in the 1980s, they'd been sealed for a number of years, a welcome improvement which goes to proof not all changes are bad. Until I did the Tanami Road, the worst track in Australia I'd travelled on was the 26 kilometre track out to the Olgas. When I returned in 1988, it was a relief to find it bitumen all the way. On my first trip to Monkey Mai in 1990, you were allowed into the shallows when the dolphins visited. But only a few years later, when I returned with my children, keeping to the beach was mandatory, and only one or two people could actually approach the mammals. After many trips to Mungo National Park in New South Wales, I went back in the year 2015 to see how much it actually changed. We made our way along a raised broadwalk until arriving at a viewing platform where we were greeted with a sign indicating access any further is restricted, unless you are part of an organised tour group. A combination of severe rainstorms and the many tourists that come from all over Australia have eroded the area so much that the authorities have found it necessary to make these restrictions.